next guest is Dr. Computer, Adam Zweibel. Hey, Adam. Hey, good to see you guys again. So, you've been, recently, because it's back to school time, you've been going to schools talking about password safety? Yeah, you know, kids really don't understand the implications of how important your password is. Like adults, too. Passwords on everything. How annoying are passwords? Well, Every you can't, yeah, you can't give your kids your Amazon password or anything. Oh, no, and your iTunes password. I mean, they'll run up a storm. Oh, they have that. <laughs> <laughs> Music's okay, no books. No books are good too, but music's cheaper. You can buy mm -hmm. 99 cents or $1.29. Right. Yeah, but. Um... And they don't buy books at Amazon, <laughs> they buy stuff. So, how, so what do you tell people? Can you have one password for everything? I mean, you could. You, but you shouldn't. <laughs> it, okay, you should not. <laughs> no, because um, you know it, the most important password is your email password. Someone gets a hold of your email password, they can essentially reset any of your other accounts right. online. They can go click forgot password, and they'll send <sighs> a link to your email. Boom, they can reset it. Or if you lose up your BlackBerry or your iPhone, and there's no password on there, again they have access to your email and can reset all those. Oh right, so you yeah. should always password protect your BlackBerry or your iPhone. Yeah. Mm. So it's. Um, mm. it, Don't they also have that thing that you can ha shut it down? Yeah, if remotely you, you can do a, a remote wipe right. if, if you have that feature enabled mm -hmm. on there. Absolutely. So, um, but so there's certain things that I usually tell um, parents to um, have a strong password, yet you can remember it. Because if you have all this cryptic language in there, it's, it's really tough to remember. Right. So one bit of advice I usually give to um, families is to think of a phrase that you'll remember. Okay. Like... Um, like, uh, we got our dog when I was three. And That's use... a lot to type in. No, you don't want to type in all of that. What you want to do is use the first letter from each of the words. Oh. oh. And then, then you'll remember Are what you your password is. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. We got our dog when I was three, so then you have to do W-G-O-D. We got I mean, that was just an off-the-head example. I wouldn't necessarily no. use that That's one. That's W-G-O-D-W-I-W-3. Yeah, no. No. no, you don't like it? <laughs> no, I'd rather... I thought it was a pretty good idea. I, I, it is a good idea. I think that's just a little... There, there's no way anyone would ever figure that one out. That's for sure. Exactly, yeah. You know, so it's, it's a bunch of scrambled numbers but, and letters together that really don't make sense to anyone else except for you. Right. Okay. That's right, because otherwise if you use a name... And, like... you can, and you can also use proper nouns, which then you can have a capital letter for mm -hmm. or a number... Um, and, and use a number well, yeah, four. well, I learned that recently over the past few years that it's important to do a capital letter and a number and then mix it up like that because people don't think to do yeah, that. Yeah, the one thing you never want to use is, is your kid's name, your name, and your, your birthday. birthday. I mean, yeah. those are just blatant, obvious things. And, right. if, you know, if someone gets a hold of your password, there's many things and repercussions that could happen. Right. You know, there's identity theft. There's, a, you know, um, there is also they could really um, pick, take a big toll on the kid's life. You know, um, what happens is... is there's a lot of cyberbullying going okay. on, yeah. so um, the friends of the kids can possibly get a hold of their uh, their password or and and make things, bad things happen. They can send emails to uh, the whole class, possibly. Right, and, right. And yeah. how do you how do you ex really tell kids about that? Because they don't do they listen? Yes. Yeah, you know, about don't you just want to tell me? You don't don't share your password with anyone. See, but to get a kid to keep a secret. Yeah, it it, it is tough. Um, you know, may, you may want to just keep track of them, make sure that they change it every so often, mm -hmm. and just and let them know that. And keep telling them, right? Yeah, yeah keep telling them. you got to be on top or of them. Or maybe give them the password, because if it's something cute that they came up with, yeah. they might be more tempted to or tell. Or maybe if it's something embarrassing, they won't tell anyone. Right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's smart. Yeah, so, um, it, like, and also, you know, they may uh, share, uh, they may um, share their password with their friends. Right. Um, Every so often, mm -hmm. you know, if they, if they, if they, one day they might be their best friend, one day they may not be well, their best friend. Well, that's why I always say to my and kids, don't. It's no matter what, you don't give your kid, you don't give your friends your password to anything. It's just, you just don't do it. Yeah, and they it's, obey. It's, I hope so. You don't know, no. No, I mean, I think they do. I think, I think, I think, yeah, definitely one of them obeys, and the other one, it's unclear. So, <laughs> apparently, children are spending about seven and a half hours a day in front of the computer, in front of the TV, that it, kind of thing? It's a lot. I mean, in front yeah. of screens, you know, right. their, their phones, the computer, mm -hmm. you know, iPads, television. There's a lot of screens going on. And the tough thing is, is uh, the messages that are being portrayed on these screens right. through the Internet and yeah. through television are not necessarily the messages and the, uh, that you want to get across to your children. Sure. So, you've you got to filter it out. In some respect, you got to 
tell them to go outside, play a little bit. Of you know, course. like you know, interact with kids in a certain in, in a face-to-face -face manner because that's a social skill that they could possibly be lacking in the future if right. they spend too much time behind these screens. Right, and apparently now there are all these different acronyms for things, right? That oh kids, yeah, kids especially know. Oh yeah, more than adults. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you if your kids um, are texting back and forth, yeah. but mm -hmm. um, if you ever take a look at their cell phone, I'm sure it's pretty cryptic. Yes, it's yeah. There's a lot of CU two more, you know, and it's. With but, I brought, but I brought a little uh, okay. game for us today. See um, if I'm, we know what the. Yes, yeah, so it, it's a list of different acronyms and see if you can. Um, well, don't show us can, the because yeah. we're going to. Oh, yeah, we yeah. want that to happen. Yeah, um, no. So I'm going to start off a little easy, obviously. Um, I think that you're going to get this. Yeah, that's laugh out Low. loud. <laughs> that's laugh out loud, and there's lots of variations like LMAO, laughing my blank off, or LM. B A O la oh, B F A O laughing my big fat blank off rolling like on the floor laugh of right? course wow you guys are good but wait I want to tell you about L O L that uh -huh. a couple of people I know I had sent this to and they kept writing back things like L O L meaning lots of love and I was like uh, no <laughs> <laughs> you know the other day I was walking down the street with my friend Kevin and somebody walked by and I thought they looked amusing so I said W O W and about thirty seconds later he said. What's W O W? I said, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's Whip Him Out Wednesday, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is something that you parents should. Parents over shoulder. Wow. You, you're, really, you're really good at this. Parents over shoulder. There's yeah. whole variations of that. You can have son over shoulder, you can daughter have parents over shoulder, room. kid over shoulder. Yes, yeah, so there's a cryptic language that kids use back and forth to just notify the other to use, uh, you know, their filter. I don't know. This is this one. like good night or go good night? I don't know. Yes. Oh, it is. It's good night. Uh, don't let the bed bugs No, bite. something say good night. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Good night. Get naked on cam. Oh, no. Oh. That's a bad one. That's yeah, a funny yeah. One. I like you that. You should write that one I'm down. I'm taking that one home. <laughs> All right. I'll put that one aside for you. Um, I am easy, right? right I am easy. Are you? Very that good. That is not good. I am easy. Are you? Yeah, that's yeah, that's something. Cheese. Yeah, I'll, I'll put those two aside for you. Uh, Hiya. Hiya. Uh, you. Uh, how old are, are you? Young. I don't know. Hi. What is it? Head. Under, under your. I mean, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> very close. Very close. Head up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, not if, not if something about getting naked on camera. Naked. Not if on camera. Not if on camera or naked if on camera. Close. Again, nude in front of the computer. Oh, oh. nude in front of computer. Okay. Oh, in front of the computer. Handy, Alexis. That's a handy one for you. Yes. <laughs> Let me in our real life. Life. Let me live movie in real life. Let me. I let's, let's meet in real life. There you go. That's not good either. Because I don't not want good my either, kids yeah. talking to strangers ever. Exactly. Yes. Could you program your computer that if that particular acronym came up on your kid's computer, that it's something you would know? Yeah, you can have alerts set up where mm -hmm. um, acronyms like this can it will automatically email you and notify swipe. you. That's a good one. 